What's up, guys? This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal, back for another grammar lesson today. I mean, metals. Back to talk about metals today. But today our video will begin with our ABCs. 440A, 440B, and 440C. See what I did there? Type 440 has these three versions that differ in carbon content. A having the lowest and C having the highest carbon. Heat treated hardness capability increases with the increase of carbon. This week, we will focus on 440A for aerospace applications. 440A has a UNS designation, UNS S44002. It is a martensitic alloy that can be heat treated to higher hardness and strength levels than type 420 due mainly to its higher carbon content. Typical applications require its increased strength and hardness and where the oxidation and corrosion resistance of this 17% chromium alloy is required. Typical annealing temperature is from 1550 to 1650 degrees Fahrenheit followed by slow cooling. Typical hardening range is 1800 to 1950 degrees Fahrenheit followed by an air or oil quench depending on section size temper as required for desired hardness. Maximum corrosion resistance is achieved in the fully hardened condition. Is 440A magnetic? Yes, 440A is magnetic. All right, and what did we do earlier? We got the UNS S44002 and the SAE 51440A. Density is 0.28 pounds per cubic inch. The mean coefficient of thermal expansion from 32 to 212 degrees Fahrenheit is 5.7 micro inch per inch per degree Fahrenheit. The machine ability rating is 40%, and again, that is against baseline alloy 1212. And now, <whistles> chemistry. Marshy balls. Okay, what do we got? <whistles> Check it out. Head over to the website, link in the description. Transcript, you don't have to listen to this. You can read it, you can see the chemistry, all the details you need, take a look. Moving right along, typical maximum hardness in the annealed condition, 241 BHN. Response to heat treatment in standard sample is a 55 RC minimum. Specifications for the annealed condition, AMS 5631, bars and forgings. We got AMS QQS 763, Far shapes and forgings. That's all we got today. But the ASTM and ASME standards are for commercial applications are far too numerous to detail here. Please refer to our website, link in the description, for any more information you might need. And just in case you missed any of the previous 83 videos, they're all there. Browse at your leisure. Now we've gotten to the part where I'm going to remind you that additional specifications and part requirements can alter what we have shown you here today. So... Do it. It's Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Thank you guys for sticking around for so long. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget, Michelin Metals is a distributor of and a supplier of 440A. Please check the website for more information. If you guys made it this far and haven't subscribed, that's your post. All right? Missed last week's video? There it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I will see you guys next Thursday, 10 a.m. I'm out.